Hi art friends! Today we're going to make a bat bookmark together. Super simple, super fun. So let's see how it works. Of course I had to put in, in an origami book. So I've got to make my bat, I've got a piece of origami paper. I used construction paper for this one, just a six by six square. I've got some metallic markers and some scissors. And I have a popsicle stick to help me with some creases. So the first step in making our origami bat is to fold in half corner to corner. So we make a big triangle. And once we have that finished, we can fold about an inch over, make sure it's kind of lined up. This is gonna be our wings. So however big you want your wings to be, that's how big you should make that fold. Okay, now I've flipped my model back over so that my big triangle is on top of my wings. And for the next step, I'm gonna make the fold that makes the head. And for this fold, there's no space where you should make it. There's no specific anything to line it up with. Sometimes in origami, you have something to line a fold up with. But this one is just a diagonal from the top of our triangle down to um, the side here. And I kind of lined mine up with where my wing meets. The only thing that you want to be concerned about with this fold is that when you fold both sides, they're even so that your face is even. So if you want to, you can draw this line on here. And you could even, if you really want to get it even, you can fold your model in half, see where your line is. My line is right here. I'm just going to make a little pinch there on my paper so I can see where it is. And then I can see where the bottom of my line is that I made. And once again, I just pinched my paper so I made a little mark. Now, both sides of my face are going to be even. So I'm just going to fold back on this line. And then to finish the wing, I'm going to fold forward just a little bit down from that parallel to that fold so that my wings stick out the side. So I just folded that back and forth. I made a little Z. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Fold on your line that you drew. Or just fold. And now fold your wing out. And like with the face, we just want to make sure that our wings look even. So as you're folding, you can just adjust. Now we've finished our basic bat fold here. I'm going to make my creases really strong with my popsicle stick. So now all we have left is fun decorating. I cut a little V in the top here to make my bat's wings and our um, ears. You could cut a curve if you want, or you can cut an angle. I cut an angle. So I think for this one, I'm going to actually cut a couple of lines that come in and then go across. And you can just use your pencil to plan that out if you want, or you can just go for it. So now I've got some bad ears. I can use my metallic markers to add a face. I just put a little triangle up here for the ears. And I added some eyes. I left a little circle out on the side like he was looking to the side. Give him a little 
a little extra spirit there. And then I added a fun mouth, a smile with a couple of fangs. And we have finished our fat bookmark, friends. Happy creating.